Hello everyone, welcome back to Close to Be Milkshake. I am your host along with support puppet, Mr. Chicken. Yes, today we're gonna talk about the Twin Flame universe. This I just watched recently on Netflix about um, a pair of culty Coltersons, Jeff and Shalia Divine. And they claim that they can find your twin flame. Now this sounds all um, good and magical and everything, the concept. It's kind of like uh, love coaches and stuff that you see online or relationship coaches. Or, you know, if you buy my packet, I will show you the steps on how to get your ex back. Things like that, okay? But how it turns into a cult is they want to control. They want to control the outcome of your life and your life choices. So say somebody online is like, here, you know, $59.99, buy my package and I will give you the steps to do whatever, bam. Here you go, blah, come to my Facebook group and we'll, I'll give you free information and we'll talk about it, right? Right, there's a lot of cool stuff out there for people you know, who might be susceptible to join such culty shit, but I see that as being more healthy. This, they want to tell you who you are supposed to be with. Now, people join this group. So people are coming into the auditorium and everything. Okay. I'm the cult leader. Hey, hey everyone. Okay. So we have men and women in this auditorium. All right. So it's almost like, um, a dating mixer. Okay. And we're going to teach you how to find your twin flame with my help. And I'm the one that's going to tell you if they're your they're your twin flame or not, okay? <laughs> so you come to me. Now, say you come to me, which you guys already do, saying that you have a trauma bonded relationship with somebody and now you are no contact or they are ghosting the shit out of you. What I would do if I was running the twin flame universe is I would tell you that is your twin flame. You're having such emotional distress over this. I wouldn't tell you it's childhood trauma. I wouldn't try to send you off and you know, you need to learn this, you need to read this. You need to get a licensed professional to hold your hand through in the grieving process. Hell to the fuck, no, I'm not gonna tell you that. I'm gonna tell you, they're your person. They're your person. What, they're ghosting you? Well, you need to start making alts, man. You need to start blowing up their phone. You need to start stalking them where they work. You need to, you need to. You need to get a GPS and put it on their car. You need to show up. You need to just show up. <laughs> now there's this one um, dating dude who, or, or how to get your ex back guy that's like, yeah, you need to show up at where they are and be like, oh, hi. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, so a twin flame is in the spiritual literature and mythology and everything is trying to find your other half. So Zeus split you apart so he can basically control double time go population, okay? And then somebody else came in, Aries or somebody, and was like, you know, okay, calm the fuck down. I know I, you know, I know Zeus split you up, but um, I'm gonna give you a Vijay and I'm gonna give you a Ram Lama Ding Dong, you know, and you're gonna join together down on the earth plane. I'm probably messing this whole thing up, but you know, whatever, just get your giggle on. And um, so this is supposed to be, um, you know, magical thinking. I can totally um, see a lot of cluster Bs being uh, kind of cool with this. Um, 
type of mind thing because we do believe in finding your soulmate. Now, they say that soulmates and twin flames are different. Remember, twin flames are your other half, so you only got one. Your soulmate, you have a bunch of those. You can have a group of soulmates, and then you just, um, you know, reincarnate over and over again with, you know, these groups of people. But if you have, like, say you have all this serendipitous things going on with your person, but you know, you have a toxic relationship and you don't want to work or they don't want to work on it with you or whatever. And you're, but these people would be telling you, no, you got to go get them. Now, when the people who join the group and you run out of people to get, it's like, I don't have anybody from the outside. Well, then I would tell you, well, you got to find somebody within um, our little community. But I wouldn't say you got to find it. I'm going to say him or her. That's your soulmate. Even if you don't have any spark or anything, I'm just going to pair you up. Do I care about you, your feelings of finding the perfect love and everything? No, what I want is your money because you can't stay in the group without paying me dala. Okay, just like when, you know, I want you to do the 99 cents to be a member, 99 cents. Well, they want $300 when you go up the line and now you get to um, be a teacher now, but you can't be a teacher unless you give me a couple thousand dollars because then, you know, I'm gonna teach you how to be a teacher. And then when you start bringing in new members and you're making money, I'm gonna take some of your money that you're making too. I'm getting rich, you're barely paying the bills and the people who are just joining are getting poor. But that's okay, because I'm gonna find you your perfect love, right? <laughs> then it gets a lot more sick to where if we run out of men and women to pair you up with, well, there's more women than men. So I'm gonna tell you that you're a man now. You have masculine energy and anything your parents told you when you were younger is wrong. You're a guy now and you need to be, um, you need to change your name, dress like a guy, cut your hair, you're Steve now, or basically, no, they, they let you pick your own name. You can pick your own name. And then, um, you know, you got to go, but you got to be with Bethany now. That's your twin flame. And so they're brainwashed into being like, oh, well, this motherfucker's guru and shit. And so he know, he know. Now, he didn't want to pay taxes on his little, um, you know, venture. So he became a religion. He even um, grew out his hair and beard to make him look like Jesus. And I think he even said he was Jesus for a while there. And if he still is doing it, because this cult is still going. So this reminded me a lot of um, like cults and stuff of growing up in a narcissistic family unit. So I'm gonna read off some things um, about just what I saw. There's a lot of wonderful videos out there and uh, uh, books and whatever the hell uh, and documentaries and everything on actual cults and stuff. But just coming from my head, okay, of um, what you know you grow up with or how I just you know would be able to control my people, this is what I would do. And I also see it in cults, okay? So um, cults and narcissistic relationships are very similar. So they will in, uh, intimidate with threatening abandonment. You gotta get out of, I'm gonna push you out of the cult or out of the family unit, right? So if you're not listening to mom or dad, you'll get the silent treatment, you'll get punished, 
Um, adult children will be ostracized. They will even go and smear you to other family members so you will be alone and have no support. Nobody wants that. And when you are in a cult in family, the family, who said that? Uh, Charles Manson, the family, you don't want to be kicked out of the family, okay? So in your mind, and people who are fearful of abandonment are easily brought in to cult-like structures because, um, you know, I'm going to give you a lot of attention, okay? I'm going to give you a lot of attention. I'm going to make you feel so special. I'm going to love bomb the shit out of you to make you feel like this is our universe. This is our, we're building this together, okay? When I'm actually at the top, and I don't think that shit of you, but I am going to make you believe that we are one together, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, yes, you are going to see me uh, giggle, find things ridiculous, and that is my lack of empathy showing. I'm sure you're going to forgive me for that because you know it's something that I cannot control um, I, and I'm not going to fake um, humble for you um, because uh, that's me lying okay all right so don't talk shit about me zip it all right it's their way or the highway so if you would challenge these people on their pairing you know of couples and everything if you're but I don't like that person or whatever you will be ostracized now somebody with a stronger sense of self is gonna be like you don't get to tell me who I get to love you know I thought I was coming in here for you to guide me on how to find like you're giving me a map I can see people you know dishing out the dough to be like give me the secrets to unlocking the door to find, you know, my soulmate, my, my twin flame, my other half, you know, what are the signs? Even something more magical like that, like, is there a tarot card group and you're going to, you know, make sure that I'm following the path I'm supposed to. Something, something self-help-y, you know, but it's very just listen to me. I know what's best for you. And if you go against it you're outy you're out okay and i can even just see these people you know blowing up their fucking messaging shit please please i'm sorry and coming back and then it's like okay well now you're on probation and if you want me to shine my love and light on you again you better get in line and you can't talk shit about me because i have flying monkeys too in the cult right all right then um, making you doubt your own judgment so your mind is weak okay you're broken and I'm here to give you strength now this is it this is all you know um, self-help gurus and things out there and you really have to pick and choose what is healthy for you and what is um, toxic misleading um, if you are being exploited taken advantage of anything like that you know if you're getting something out of it you know it's like I'm buying a book okay I'm buying a book so the person who wrote the book is going to get a chunk of change from you know me buying the book okay sometimes i read a book it's bomb as shit. i'm going to tell everybody about the book sometimes it's garbage and i fucking just toss it in the trash you know it's pff, no reviews no nothing or some people go and give one star and say why you know whatever you're not out that much right you take what you want you throw away the rest you know life is a journey of self-discovery everything you know so um but when somebody is telling you i'm the only way kind of sounds like jesus right don't don't shit on me you know jesus is my homeboy but you know i am the way and uh the light 
I, you can only find salvation and all that shit through me. And if you don't believe in my shit, well, you're just going to suffer. You know, you're going to suffer on earth or whatever. Um, if you do uh, old scripture, you're going to burn in hellfire, whatever. <laughs> Please. <laughs> anyway, so they are going, if you come to them with any doubts or anything, they're just going to first be like, oh, you know what? You came to me. You came to me because you were lost. And I'm going to help you find yourself. This is what we're doing. But if you keep doubting the process, you're going to be left behind. The flock is good. You're going to be lost. And I can't come and find you. I ain't Jesus. I ain't leaving my flock and going just to look for you. <laughs> that is what Jesus does. Um, but, you know, um, I'm going to keep going and... Um, basically, I'm going to smear the shit out of you if you do not come along. So do you want to join and be special? Or do you want to be cast out into hellfire? Hmm? And then, you know, um, it's going to be, they're going to play up on your, um, your loneliness. Okay? Because remember, twin flame is your other half. So if you are walking the earth only half of yourself, you cannot be whole except with another person, which is bullshit, okay? You can be a full person on your own and you're bringing somebody extra into your life like the cherry on top of your Sunday, you know? But these people are making the whole relationship is your Sunday, your whole life. You know, and, and your your life is this pitiful, pitiful, shriveled cherry in a bowl of nothing. So anything that you join or follow or whatever, um, you want to be looking at, is this making me feel good about myself? Okay, because twin flamers here what they are doing is they're telling you you're broken they're making you be with somebody that you don't want to be with and um, a lot of these are also toxic relationships so they're telling you also you're not who you think you are okay and this is another thing that you know I tell you guys that um, I see people as cattle not as real human beings and when you look at these cult leaders they're seeing you as that too but sheep okay they're, you're just gonna follow whatever the fuck they say if I tell you you're not a man you're not a man you're a woman now pick a woman name and wear a dress and now you're gonna be with you know a dude but you're not gay or say you are gay, and now I'm telling you you're not gay. I mean, these people have got the biggest boners, dude. Just controlling it, and everybody's like listening and stuff. All right, let's continue on the coercive control shit within a cult. Um, they shame you if you rebel. If you're going to rebel, um, rebel. <laughs> <laughs> Rebel. Shame, shame belt shit. Okay. Um, what they are doing is, um, I've seen this many times, is uh, they talk down to you. And a lot of them, they, they'll yell. They'll raise their voice, just making you feel small. This is um, just the, it reminds me of a tactic that like um, parental figures would use. Um, threatening abuse, I'm going to beat you, screaming at you, and then you start getting this PTSD response. And I believe that a lot of these people who join these groups do have PTSD, CPTSD, um, childhood trauma, cluster B fucking traits, anything, you know, all this shit, because they just want to be in a group where they're fucking accepted, you know? ADHD, autism, whatever. 
okay? And so you're getting in here and then this person is yelling at you, yelling at you and berating you. You're scared to death that you're gonna be kicked out of the cult. A lot of these people even quit their regular jobs to join this fucking thing full time. And so now they're not gonna have any money. What the fuck are they gonna do? Be looking at shit on the outside, on the download, dude, and then get out of there. Then get out of there, all right? All right. Next, isolates you from your friends, family, even isolates you inside of the community. Because if you're going against the leader, if they're flying monkeys or hearing you do these things, you're going to be ostracized outside of the group. And, and you're going to freak out, you know, that you're going to be kicked out. And so you're going to conform. You're going to be walking on eggshells all the time because now you can't even speak your mind. Can you imagine, um, you know, because your twin flamer has to join the group too. So now both of you are in the group and say that you're having doubts, but your partner is like, uh-uh, no, I'm staying. I believe in all this shit. What are you going to do? You got to stay. They say that they're, that's your other half. Fuck that shit, man. This is why you don't tell me what to do. You don't tell me what to do. You guys think I'm the monster? You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> um, also, these people, um, they are being poisoned. They're brains are being poisoned against their friends and family outside of the cult. They don't understand. They don't want to see you grow. They don't they don't want to when they're like, "Are you are you shitting me? You're you're giving them all of your money. You're turning into a guy or a girl or they're picking your partner for you. You're miserable as shit, you know? You're 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 in this trauma bonded relationship on purpose and and you guys know how it is to be in a trauma bonded relationship pushing away your friends and family and being ashamed to tell them about what you're going through same with these fucking cult members man dude dude so a lot of this stuff um also i mean it reminds me of online dating when you're lonely, when you're lonely and you're not filling whole in yourself, but you're lonely. And so you are going to just hook on to any garbage that you see. You're going to look past all the red flags. You don't fucking care. I can live with that. I can live with that. I'll make excuses for that. You know, um, oh, you have five phones. Oh, okay. What? They're for, you know, you have so many different jobs. Okay, fine. You know, oh, you got to travel and everything and go out of town a lot. And, uh, okay, okay, it's okay as long as you text me all the time and I feel secure in that. No, <laughs> no, no. Um, also, predators online can target you not only to do that type of cycle, but um, when you're in a, just being in a vulnerable state, it's like a cult. These cult leaders are taking advantage of you in a vulnerable state. Now, everybody who comes to my channel, you are in a vulnerable state. I want you to be better than you were before and get the fuck out. And the people who have called me, I tell them, this is what's going on. Do what you want. Do what you want. I have no control over what you're doing and what you are thinking, okay? And I am really cool with anybody who um, calls me out on any bad behavior because I, you know, I, I don't self-reflect all the fucking time, okay? All right. And I might make an excuse for it anyway, Pfft, whatever. So just take what you want from my channel. You take it, you put it into your toolbox of understanding, and you go. All right? Nobody's, I'm not telling you to come live with me. I bet some of you want to come live with me. Okay. Um, what is left? 
I stumbled across a um, YouTube channel called Let the Fresh Air In. And it's E-R-I-N. Let the Fresh E-R-I-N. And I was watching, um, I already watched, you know, this cult shit on uh, Netflix, but she was deep diving into all of this twin flamer shit. She, she does cults all across the board, okay? And she deep dives into all that stuff and brings you the information so you don't have to do shit. Isn't that nice? When somebody does all the research for you and gives it to you, you're welcome, you're welcome. Anyways, so she goes and does um, all of this re research. She even went into their Facebook group. Um, she went on Reddit, went back years and years to see um, you know, where this uh, cult started from, where it was going, what's going on. She's bomb, she's awesome. Um, so if you want to go and you know, listen to some culty cult stuff. Um, she's very uh, educated and um, entertaining too. And I love her background also. So check her out. Let the fresh air in. All right. And I think that's it. Is that it? Is that it? Do you want to start a cult with me? What would we call it? You know, the the narcissistic nugget, the nar narcissistic nugget verse. <laughs> Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. Namaste.